John, injuries are a part of sport, and uh, there's a book by Jeff Perlman, Next Man Up. Uh, it's an opportunity for others, I guess, to show what they can do well, while you guys hold the fort down uh, before Austin's able to come back. Yeah, I think it's opportunity for everybody. I think uh, when uh, you know you have one of the best players in the league on your team and, and he's going to miss some time, uh, it's an opportunity uh, for a lot of guys to step up. Um, you know, obviously, uh, with his, his skill set, I don't think you'd always look to one person, but... Uh, Starts with guys like myself and, and trickle on down through the lineup. Guys getting more opportunity, more ice time to uh, take advantage and, and step up and play key roles, uh, key minutes for us, and, and make key contributions. So um, for sure, we uh, looking forward to uh, um, to tonight and, and getting back at it, and want to keep building on the last couple games. Well, I believe so. Uh, I mean, you need depth to to, to win uh, over 82 games. Just uh, different guys stepping up at different times uh, in different situations, and then obviously uh, uh, with injuries being part of the game, uh, that's another part of it. So um, I believe we have that, uh, are ready to deal with that. So um, you know, just go out and continue to play our game and uh, get better, uh, trying to find another level for our team, and, and uh, uh, I think everyone individually. So um, yeah, we'll go out and give it our best effort tonight and try to get the result we want. How do you feel the team handled the physicality of the, the Jets on Saturday after the game? A lot of the guys were saying like they were trying to, you know, play that physical edgy game to slow you guys down. How do you feel you guys handled it? Well, I, I think uh, I think it shows with uh, the way we came out in the third period and uh, stayed composed and kept our kept our poise. Knowing we're we're down two and, and obviously uh, uh, you know you're heading into the into the uh, the final frame and we were just able to kind of stay with it. Chip away uh, and find find a way to get uh, the goals we needed to get ourselves back in and obviously get the lead. So I think just having that composure is key. Uh, you know we expected a response from them after Wednesday night and wanting to come uh, play a, a tough brand of hockey and they have some size and and, uh, and skill, uh, obviously some speed as well and they're a very good team. So you know we just tried, just tried to be as prepared as we could be and, and handle whatever adversity comes your way and we did a good job of that. Changes on your line. What, what changes with Kathy on the line as opposed to Mitch? Um, well, I think obviously uh, you, you, you've seen Cap's uh, uh, ability to shoot the puck and, and find the net, um, and it just it's just very dynamic of a player uh, with his skating and being able to create time and space for himself and really put the the opponent on their heels. Uh, you know, when, when you're a defenseman and you feel kind of you know him kind of barreling down and you down the wing or, or you know on the transition, it's a it's not a comfortable feeling uh, with just how well he's able to skate and, and close time and space and create opportunities for himself. So. You know, we don't need to go out there and, and uh, try and do a whole lot. I think just uh, keep it simple, trust our, our instincts and strengths of our game, and, and go from there. Does the dynamic change much on the top power play with Kasperi in that Austin spot? Well, I mean, they're, they're different players, and, and Cap's uh, uh, a right shot, so uh, I think just being aware of that. Um, but I think just try to keep the framework of, uh, of our power play and um, don't try to change a whole lot. Give what's, uh, take what's there, uh, trust, uh, trust our... Uh, guys on the ice, trust the guys in the roles they're in, and, and just kind of keep doing the right things, have the right habits, and, and then eventually uh, uh, I'd like to think uh, um, we'll get the results we need. John, were you able to speak to uh, Austin, and if you did, um, could you tell us a little bit about how he's feeling right now? Well, I, I think he's obviously, uh, you know, upset that he's the a little frustrated that he, you know, he, he's in this position. I think uh, any athlete... Uh, uh, hockey player, as competitive as they are, want to want to be out there on the ice competing and can help them contribute to the team, especially uh, the role he plays for us, such a key part of our group. Um, but uh, honestly, I, I thought he was pretty uh, upbeat and just trying to stay focused on and how uh, he can learn from this and uh, you know get better and get healthy as quick as he can and look forward to getting back and just trying to turn the page. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, um, but uh, uh, he's been upbeat and been around the group and you know hopefully we get him back here soon. I didn't see him last night. I'm sure uh, I'll see him uh, probably after the game today. So, um, great guy, and uh, uh, had a lot of fun playing with him for a number of years. Was he able to? Uh, when you, I mean, you caught up with him in the summertime. Were you able to? Like, was he able to give you some advice on how you can transition to your team and what you got last year? Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it wasn't really. Uh, I was looking to look, go to him for any advice, but when we caught up with him last season, uh, when I played against him and just checking in how he's doing and how the transition was going for himself and just seeing how him and his family were doing, I think, you know, you hear a little bit about that. Uh, not that I was out there looking for it. I think just, just trying to see how he was doing and, and just care about him as a person and, uh, uh, you know, went through a lot with him for a number of years in New York. So um, just heard about his transition then.